Hello and welcome to the very first edition of Keep Scotland Active. My name is Robbie Forsyth um, and I work with Youth Football Scotland. The YFS team um, are unable to cover any games right now, um, which is you know, their, their usual job. So we've decided to put all of our efforts into creating something for the community which will help them stay mentally and physically strong um, during the most challenging of times. Um, we're we're going to start off with, with some live training sessions. We've uh, pulled together a, a fantastic selection of um, coaches and coaching academies from across Scotland and they volunteered their time, which is, um, which is fantastic of them um, when they're going through um, you know, a tough time themselves. So please um, support them, please follow them on social media and see what else they have to offer. Um, this is just the start. We have lots of other exciting initiatives which we'll be rolling out one by one which are aimed at helping players, coaches, families, and, and everyone involved in the community. Um, today's first coaching session is with Martin McCann from Football Buzz. He has um, put together a fantastic session um, for everybody. And um, all you need is yourself, um, a football. It can be done in your garden. If you're doing it, we would recommend you, you do it with um, a parent or a helper who can hold up the phone for you or the iPad and, and show you exactly what to do. Um, or it can be done in the comfort of your living room or any room within your house. Um, follow, follow the session, um, enjoy it, work hard, um, you know, improvise if need be, um, and good luck, stay active. And over to Martin in Livingston. Hi everyone, my name is Martin McCann and I'm from Football Buzz. I'm going to be working in partnership with Youth Football Scotland as part of the Keep Scotland Active initiative. Now the aim is to get everyone active and still participating in football, uh, whether it's in your back garden or if it's in your own home, regardless of what you have at your disposal, there's always something that we can do. So in today's session, we are going to be focusing on our touch, our turning and our fitness on the ball. So to start with, what we're going to do is some toe taps to help get that heart rate up, raise that body temperature and then we're going to build it from there. So to start with, we're going to start with 10 toe taps on the spot and once we've done our 10, we're going to work our way around the ball all the way around to the beginning. Once we get to the start, we go back the other way. Taking as many as touches as we can on the ball once we get back round again, we're going to do 10 on the spot and then we go round again. We're going to do this five times in total. All the way round and back to the start. You don't have to do it on the bounce. This is for everybody, so if it means that you do it standing on the spot without the bounces in between, that's absolutely fine. Then we work our way around. The important thing is, we take as many touches as we can. Back to the beginning, on the spot. Once we've done our 10, round we go. Now that our heart rate up, our temperature is up, we're going to be working more on our touch. So we're going to start with the outside of the foot, then the inside, then we change feet. outside and inside. As many touches as we can. When you get to the end of your area, stop, turn, and go back the other way. Stop, turn, back the other way. As many touches as we can. Keep that ball under control. We're going to do this eight times. This is for everybody, so if it means a touch and a touch, we do it as slow or as fast as you like. And now we're going to move the ball with the sole of our feet, we're going to go forwards and then we're going to go backwards. So just walking it through, it's a touch with the sole, move it forward, keep our knee over the ball when we get to the end of our area, foot on the ball and we're going to drag it back the way. Now again, as always, do this as slow or as fast as you like, it's all about our touch. Forwards, we're going to pick it up a little bit and then go backwards. We're 
we're going to do this eight times again. Now that our touch has been warmed up, I'd like us to put in some step overs. So just as before, we're going to take a touch with the outside of our foot. This time it's going to be a step over and then touch out with the other foot with another step over. Again, as always, if you need to walk it through, just walk it, get to the end of our area. We stop the ball, turn, and we go out the other way. Next, we're going to move on to the Cruyff turn with a dribble. So when we step up to the football, we plant our standing foot on one side, we turn to our instep to move the ball out the other direction, and then we touch it away. So what we're going to do is do the Cruyff turn with a touch in our area. There's not one direction I'm looking for us to go in at this time. We're just going to get it out our feet and do another turn. So we touch and turn. Touch and turn. Touch and turn. We keep moving, trying to get away from that defender. Turn, turn. What I'd like us to do is really exaggerate that turn. Imagine the defender's there, you're feigning to play the ball, you plant that foot, and then you turn the other way. So really exaggerate that movement. Exaggerate it and turn. Exaggerate it and turn. And now we're going to move on to some of our fitness with the football. So all it's going to be is we're going to take 10 touches with the ball and then we're going to run for the length of your area and run back. So almost like shuttles but with touches of the ball in between. We're going to do 8 shuttles with 10 touches in between every one. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go to the end of your area. Come back. 10 touches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We do this 8 times. And now we're going to move on to the dribbling shuttles. Where we start with the ball, we're going to dribble at pace. For the length of your area, leave the ball there, sprint back, sprint up to get it again. We then dribble from there back to the beginning and then do our two shuttles. Now we're going to do eight shuttles in total with four dribbles in between. So then we start, go. So now we're going to work on our first touch whilst the ball's dropping out the air. Now again, this is for everybody. Doesn't mean you have to throw it as high as you can. It could just be drop from chest height, from hip height, anything you like to suit your ability. So first, we're going to throw the ball up. We're going to bring it down and control it. Play a weighted pass to the end of your area. And then we're going to get after it. We're going to do that eight more times. So we start from here, throw it up, touch, play that weighted pass, get after it. Now we're going to move on to some fitness on our stairs. Now if like me, you have stairs in your garden, then great, but this can just as easily be done in your home. We still need our football, and we're going to do 
three fast feet on one side, jump over, three on the other. We're going to do that six times. After the sixth one, we're going to go up our stairs, single leg to the top. We're going to turn and go back down. And we're going to do that for eight repetitions. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Keep that going, nice and light on our feet. Up our stairs, turn and back down. Start again. taps with the ball. As soon as we finish that tempo, we explode up the steps, two steps on each one, until we get to the top and the same on the way back down. Again, we'll do that for eight repetitions. Are we ready? Set? Go! Five seconds of fast feet and back down again. As always, it's going to be eight repetitions. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Well done everyone on completing today's Football Buzz session. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Huge thank you to Youth Football Scotland for inviting us along to bring it to you all at home. Now I hope you are all staying active, keeping busy and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you Martin. Uh, what a fantastic session. What a way to kick things off. Um, absolutely brilliant. Don't forget to follow Football Buzz on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. They're doing some fantastic things over the the lockdown period so um thanks again to, to martin um if you participated in today's session we hope you enjoyed it um, comment below uh, with your photos and um, show us um your yourself or your your children taking part and we, we'd love to see that and um, we have one more thing to introduce to you before we move on and um, so we have today's challenge of the day and this one is set by scotland's captain andy robertson over to you andy Thank you, Andy. Now that was the furniture challenge. Uh, Andy decided to get out his ironing board, but you can use any piece of furniture, any combination. It can roll, it can ricochet, uh, whatever you like, um, to try and get the ball in the bucket. So we're looking for the most creative entries. Send yours in and we will post the, the best ones before tomorrow's live broadcast. Uh, tomorrow's live broadcast comes from Fife, where Russell from Futsal of Scotia will be introducing you to Futsal. Uh, we hope you enjoyed all of today's activities. Um, we really hope we'll see you again tomorrow. Um, thank you for participating and stay active, stay safe. Mm -hmm.